Welcome to M3 Creative Academy's Music Appreciation videos. In this special video, I want to introduce you to some Christmas music that everybody should know. Christmas as a holiday has not always been as big of an event as it is now, but composers throughout history have written a lot of good music for its celebration. Today, let's learn about Peter Tchaikovsky's Nutcracker Ballet. Who is Peter Tchaikovsky? Well, he was one of the greatest Russian composers of all times certainly the 1800s, and of all composers in Western music, he is one of the greatest. He's composed all types of music, symphonies, operas, tone poems, but he composed three different ballets. Now, ballet was something that Russians were very proud of, and the government spent a lot of money making Russian ballet the best in the world, and they would send their, their ballet companies to far off places like Paris and London to perform and, ex and show how great Russia was. Peter Tchaikovsky had two successful ballets prior to the Nutcracker. The first was Swan Lake, the second was Sleeping Beauty, and then finally the Nutcracker was performed in 1892, but it was not very well liked. Throughout the next 50 years, the ballet was per performed a few more times, but it still didn't achieve a great deal of success. It wasn't until the 1960s in the, United, in the United States that it became very popular. After the ballet achieved less success than Tchaikovsky expected, he turned the music into an orchestral suite. So it was just orchestra and no dancing. This performance was, however, met with lots of success. People loved the music. Now, a few things you should know about the original ballet. First, it was cast with children in the roles of Clara and Fritz. Both of these kids were dancers, uh, were dance students at the time. Now, later productions would cast adults in these roles because of the demanding dances that they were required. Now, today, ballet companies often invite ballet students to help perform the various dances. This photo that you can see up here was taken from the first production in 1892 in St. Petersburg, Russia. Here's another one. This is a photo of the Sugar Plum Fairy and the Mouse King. Now, one thing Tchaikovsky did in this was pretty unique. He used what is, was pretty much a brand new instrument at the time, the Celesta. It's a French instrument, and it was, it, the, the title actually means heavenly. And it sounds heavenly, too. The, the, the keyboard is played, and it produces a very soft, bell-like sound. And Tchaikovsky, interestingly enough, was the first major composer to use the instrument. He found out about it when he was traveling to Paris uh, years before. You can hear this in Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies, and here's an example of it right here. All right, so we've learned a little bit about Peter Tchaikovsky and the Nutcracker Suite. So it's time to listen to some different parts of it. Here are five different parts. The decoration of the Christmas tree, which comes from the, the beginning of the ballet. The march, which you'll probably recognize. The Russian dance towards the end, the waltz of the flowers. And then finally, the dance of the sugar plum fairy. And so these are all parts of the Nutcracker Suite and from the ballet. So enjoy this wonderful Christmas music. <laughs> 